Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie starts in a field mission. CIA agent, Bradley Fine accidentally kills an arms dealer, Tiomir Boyanov, while trying to get information about a suitcase nuke he has hidden somewhere. After killing him, Bradley fights against the security, with the help of his remote assistant, a 40 years old desk-bound CIA agent, Susan Cooper, and successfully makes it out of the building. Later, he and Susan celebrate the success of the mission at dinner, where he thanks Susan for her help, and presents a cartoon necklace as a thank you gift. While discussing the case with their superior, Elaine Crocker, Susan suggests going after Boyanov's daughter Reina, as she might know the location of the suitcase. They also have information, that Reina has been trying to contact different terrorist organizations to sell the nuke, so Bradley is given the task to track down her location. He walks into Reina's house, but to Susan's surprise, there are no security systems in operation. She gets suspicious, and warns Bradley not to go inside, but he ignores her concerns, and still decides to proceed. Soon, Susan is proved to be right, as he is held at gunpoint by Reina. She reveals to be aware of all the CIA agents working in the field, including Bradley, Karen, and Rick Ford, and shoots him dead, while Susan watches helplessly. The CIA bids farewell to Bradley, but it's too much to handle for Susan, and she can't stop blaming herself, for not being able to save him. In her attempt to continue Bradley's mission, she finds a contact number through the security footage from Reina's house, which leads them to Sergio De Luca, who works as the middleman for terrorist organizations. As Elaine discusses it with her team, Agent Rick Ford decides to go after him, but Elaine does not want to send him, as Reina is aware of his identity. As the task cannot be given to any field agent, Susan, who still misses Bradley, steps up and volunteers to go after Sergio. Although a bit reluctant about her capabilities, Elaine accepts the suggestion, which upsets Rick, and he walks out of the meeting. Elaine later invites Susan into her office, and shows her an old footage, when she was one of the best trainees, and asks why she never opted for fieldwork. Susan reveals, she and Bradley made a perfect team, so she did not want to compromise it, and decided to assist him in the missions instead. Elaine then gives Susan her new identity as Carol Jenkins, a single mother of four, who just moved to Paris for work, but advises her to maintain a safe distance from Sergio, as she does not want her to be recognized. After being briefed by Elaine, she collects her equipment from a co-worker Petra, and changes her outfit, before flying to Paris. Upon reaching there, she is quite unhappy to see the hotel she will be staying in, but has no options to protest, so checks in anyways. In her room, she retrieves the gun from a hidden box, and contacts her friend Nancy, to report her current status. Although she has come all the way to Paris, but starts to panic, thinking she won't be able to do it, Nancy motivates her, and assures her of her full support during the mission. After a while, she spots Rick in her room, who tells her that she is not capable of being a field agent, and he is sure she will mess it up sooner or later. Susan gets offended by his remarks, and asks him to leave the room. The next morning, she arrives at Sergio's office, but finds it already burnt down. Upon her question about the office, a stranger shows her pictures of the building when it was on fire, and she spots a man standing right next to it. She sends the picture to Nancy, asking her to run a background check on him. Meanwhile, Rick shows up again, teases her that she won't be able to do it due to her inexperience, and leaves. As soon as he starts walking away, the same man Susan saw in the picture starts following Rick, and switches his backpack with his. Seeing this, she starts chasing Rick, and warns him by announcing it on the mic during Verka Serdushka's concert. Rick finds a bomb in his bag, and disposes it off in the lake, right before it explodes. Susan spots the same guy taking pictures of her, and starts following him. She reaches inside a building, where he attacks her, but she fights back and kills him, after pushing him off the roof. In his room, Susan finds a camera, and learns he has been keeping an eye on Rick for a long time. While going through the camera, she comes across footage, from which they learn that Sergio will soon be going to Rome. After getting a new identity as Penny Morgans, Susan also flies to Rome, and meets another agent Aldo, who picks her up from the airport. After scaring her with his weird driving skills, Aldo drops her outside the hotel, where she finds Sergio coming over with his team. Nancy asks her to stay in a shop outside to keep an eye on Sergio, but Susan decides to go after him instead. As soon as she steps in, she is once again surprised to see Rick, who helps her get in, but she argues with him for following her. Although she does not get a chance to get closer, Susan spots a man mixing poison into a drink, which he hands over to Reina. As they still need her for the mission, Susan rushes to warn her about the drink. After listening to her, 
Reyna takes Susan with her to identify the man, and forces him to have a sip from the same glass. The poison dissolves his throat, but Susan is unable to see it as she passes out. After waking up again, she finds Reyna's security pointing a gun at her, but she satisfies her by saying the man deserved the punishment for trying to kill Reyna. Thankful to Susan for saving her life, Reyna takes her for dinner, and invites her to go to Budapest with her on her private jet. While leaving with Reyna, Susan spots her men taking away Rick, and sends a secret signal to Nancy, asking her to cut off the power, which gives Rick enough chance to fight back and flee from the hotel. Susan and Reyna board the plane, where Susan shares her concern about her extra nice attitude toward her, but Reyna tells her, that she reminds her of her deceased mother, who was the only person she trusted. To further confirm that Susan is not dangerous to her, Reyna drugs her drink, and searches through her bag after she passes out, but doesn't find anything noticeable. Before Susan can confront her, the steward points a gun at Reyna. Seeing this, the pilots try to take him down, but get killed by him. Susan then knocks him unconscious, and rushes to the cockpit to control the plane, but it blows her cover. Reyna holds her at gunpoint, while accusing her of being a CIA agent, but Susan convinces her, that she is a private bodyguard hired by Reyna's father to protect her. Reyna warns her about the consequences if it's not true, but hesitantly believes her. After landing in Budapest, Reyna tells her about an upcoming meeting with a potential buyer. After dropping Reyna in her room, Susan tries to contact Nancy, but is forced to go outside the hotel after finding security cameras in her room. She explains the situation to Nancy, but is surprised to see her there. Nancy informs her that Elaine sent her to check on her, as they could not make contact in the past few hours. As they talk, Reyna shows up, but Susan introduces Nancy as her assistant. She then spots an approaching car with someone pointing a gun at Reyna, but Susan saves her by warning her just in time. After advising Nancy to take care of her, Susan chases the car, but is surprised to find another CIA agent Karen Walker inside. Karen is revealed to be a double agent, as she tries to kill Susan, but is shot by an unknown sniper. At night, they attend a party to meet Reyna's potential buyer Leah, but Susan recognizes her as the same girl she saw earlier in Paris. At her request, Nancy creates a diversion, by jumping on a guest performer, while Susan tries to apprehend Leah, but Rick once again messes it up with his unwanted intervention, and gives her enough time to escape. Susan follows her, and they get into an intense fight, but Leah gets killed after being stabbed by Bradley, who is now Reyna's accomplice. Shocked to see him alive, Susan gets knocked out by Reyna's men, who lock her in a room where they have already kept Aldo. As she starts blaming herself for failing the mission, Bradley sneaks in and reveals he faked his own death, to make his way into Reyna's close circle, and to win her trust. He also confesses to killing Karen earlier, and Susan is relieved to learn he did not turn his back on them. He tells her about going after Sergio and leaves, as he cannot risk blowing his cover. Aldo and Susan then untie each other, and break out of the imprisonment, to go after Bradley and Reyna. During their meeting with Sergio, he refuses to finalize the deal in Bradley's presence, as he used to work for the CIA, so Sergio thinks his loyalty is questionable. He tries to shoot him down, but is stopped by Susan's sudden intervention. She pretends to be mistreated by the CIA, and claims to love Bradley, while saying that she will do anything to save his life. Sergio believes her, and introduces the group to a terrorist Salsa Dudav, who presents a suitcase full of diamonds as payment for the nuke. After seeing the payment, Reyna retrieves the suitcase hidden in the trunk of her car, well protected by a non-detectable sheet. As soon as Sergio spots the suitcase, he kills Salsa and his men, as he has plans to resell it at a much higher payment. As he wants to keep the diamonds to himself, he also intends to kill Reyna, but is distracted by Rick. Susan then picks up the gun and fights against his team, knocking them down in no time. Seeing this, Sergio tries to escape in a helicopter with both the suitcases, but Susan follows him, and grabs onto the landing gear. The ensuing struggle forces him to loosen his grip on the suitcases, that fall into the lake underneath. Enraged by his loss, he aims his gun at her, but is shot by Nancy, who just showed up in 50 Cent's helicopter with Aldo. He then tries to choke her with her necklace, but she loosens the string, which makes him fall off the helicopter. The nuke suitcase is later retrieved by CIA agents, while Reyna is taken away by the police, but she is no longer Susan's enemy. Aldo shows up and reveals to be an agent from MI6. He admires Susan for brilliantly handling the mission, and invites her to visit London someday. Bradley and Elaine also congratulate her on the mission, and Elaine announces keeping her as a field agent, while explaining her next mission in Prague. 
After Elaine leaves, Bradley appreciates Susan, and invites her over for dinner, but she decides to go on a night out with Nancy instead. Rick, who was always unsure of her abilities, finally compliments her skills before she leaves with Nancy. Next morning, Susan wakes up in bed with Rick, and screams out of shock, but he claims she loved it. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.